just popping on to say this is a huge undertaking and I'll never do this again. Thank you. Back to work. What's up, EDX? So I just want to say thank you to Emily. Emily bought a gift. That's kind of loud. Emily, thank you so much for being a part of the Maniac Squad and getting um, mounting squares for my classroom and also getting some stamps. Thank you so much, Emily. You don't understand how much this is super, super appreciated. Thank you, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I was so excited. All right, maniacs, let's get into this do-it-yourself teacher rocking chair video. Number one, sand your chair. I did not record sanding my chair. It was a bit hot in Georgia this day. Um, hence the bonnet that I have on because your girl has a fresh press and we can't be sweating that out. So now you see me adding the base coat of paint to my chair. Um, I'm just painting it white, making sure that I get all of the crevices everywhere that I sanded, making sure that the paint sticks and bonds to it so that the foundation for my craft project will be flawless. If you are not already subscribed, why don't you go ahead and click that big red button down below. Make sure that you like this video, go back in on my channel and watch any videos that you have not. And if you're already family, what's up? Welcome back. Thank you for coming. A few moments later. too much paint in some areas I use not enough paint so I'm gonna do it's been a little bit over an hour so I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat now All right, so I'm going in with spray paint for my second and third coats. Listen, your girl was not trying to fool with the paint and the paintbrush. So I consulted a friend who deals with acrylic paints a lot and I asked if the acrylic paint would take to the spray paint being bonded on top of the furniture paint. My friend said it was A-OK, -okay, so your girl went right up to Walmart and got her some spray paint because it was too much. I was doing team too much with the paint and the paintbrush. And plus I was not really feeling the streaks. So you just see me here going in with the spray paint, making sure that I even it out and make it a little more sleek.
This is what the chair is looking like after one coat of paint and two coats of spray paint. There are some spots like this spot right here and this spot right here. Focus, thank you. That are the best but overall I think that I can move on and then like right here like I haven't really done like the best with the paint because this part's going to be covered with another color so I think I'm just going to go ahead and move on like, I'm kind of tired of white and waiting around for it to stop raining so I can keep finishing it because this is like uh, we're in like a new rainy season or whatever so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the vinyl pieces that I have for the top up there and then I can start painting these, making those what they are. Oh, this one was definitely another coat, but like I said, I didn't really do as good as I could have because I keep having to stop because of the weather. It's the rain. It looks like it's getting rain and rain again. Let me see, I'll show you. See how the clouds are dark right there? It looks like it's getting rain and rain again. So, I think I might actually take this inside and apply the vinyl pieces. And then hopefully it'll be dry enough for me to, or maybe I can do the acrylic paint inside. Let's see. why is vinyl so difficult literally what is taking like it's taking me too long to get the vinyl to stick to the transfer tape it's making me mad So in hindsight, I regret uh, doing this one because as you can see, like the little pieces for like the O, the R, the D, all those little pieces that make it letters are stuck on here. So it's whatever. From back here, it still kind of looks cute. Also, this should have been brown. This little, oh, I'm not showing it. This should have been brown, but I didn't have brown and I didn't want to buy an entire roll of brown just for that little bit. So I used yellow, whatever. It's a chalkboard. So now I've just painted one layer of the purple to see how I like it. That purple is a little darker than I expected. But I just did one. It's drying really quickly. I think I could go over it again, actually. But I'm gonna let that sit up there and do some more with this purple. The purple is my test run.
excuse me, I don't know what day it is, but this is the end of today. So, got my vinyl teacher apple up here, chalkboard, and number one teacher. I have done two coats of the two pencils and the crayons. And I've done two coats of the glue sticks and as well as the back glue sticks. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do some vinyl for the markers right here. So I'm gonna have to go in with the white paint and make those look a little better. And then this is gonna stay white. That bar back there is gonna stay white. And that bar back there and that bar are all gonna stay white. And then this little one right here and this little one right here are probably gonna stay white. Then I have to do the ruler right here. Still debating if I'm gonna make this a piece of paper or if I'm gonna get a pillow. And then the erasers and the point of the pencil have to be done, but that is it. And I'll do all of that the next time I do this project. Also, can't see it on camera, but the red, well maybe you can, the red and the purple need one more coat. They don't look as good as these three. And the yellow is a bit too bright. I think I'm gonna mix a little orange and do one more coat for that one. But that's where we are right now. The next day. What's up, maniacs? Okay, so I'm about to show you the chair. I am getting ready to do the top coat that Matt Clear seals, protects, and revitalizes. So I'm about to spray this on the whole chair, and you're gonna see me do that, and then you're gonna see the final product. I must say, this is an undertaking that one, I will never do again, but two, I am really proud of the results I had. It's not too much, but it's just enough for me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell notification. Thanks so much for watching, guys.